I'm going to get rid of this motor. I did my experiments on it. Generator's off. Everything is gone. I might recover some parts on it. Whatever is coming up next. But before it's gone, I'm going to use it for this. So I did not do this stuff, okay? That's what's happening. Yeah, it's some crazy stuff I did. So if you notice, I cut before the emitter hits ground. That's where it is, emitter. And this is ground. This is what battery I'm using. This is the circuit for the experiment. I must say, well, let me try this first. They don't work. Ordinary batteries don't work. Who has a 12 volt super cap? Because super caps do work. But it's a 2.7 volts. I have a bank. It works for a while. But this is not the point. So I'm going to speed up this stuff. So let's see. It's a battery, please. Yeah? It's not going to work motor is going to stop as you can see okay now ordinary capacitors don't work for example I have a 450 volts probably a hundred microfarads thousand microfarads they don't work okay they don't work so I'm going to speed up this stuff and it is going to stop okay now let me try a super capacitor let me try a super capacitor a super capacitor huh? Let's try a super capacitor. Speed this up. And here you go. It's running. So, batteries don't work. Your regular mi um, microfarad capacitor doesn't work. Now, I also have a bank. I'm just going to switch it while it's running. A super capacitor bank. And here you go. So diode. Trigger diode there. I figured I'd make a practical part too. Now, you need to know that this motor will come to a halt once this capacitor is full of energy. For a matter of fact, the motor is starting to slow down. Probably can't see it yet. Once this is full of energy, it will stop. Resistance, baby, resistance. And EFP connects is out. So try so can you try and collect every energy leaving the circuit? Probably there are, exper there are experiments to do. Who knows? But as you know I'm a generator man. I'm just showing the stuff I did.